Hey people, it's me. I'm back. I know I've been away for a minute, but you know, sometimes we have to take those breaks because it's just life. Life happens, things happen. So I had to take a little bit of time off, um, you know, because I want to be able to really inspire. You know, that's a part of my mission and my purpose is to inspire you. And so I have to be inspired and I have to, you know, just soak in some of the trials and tribulations that I've been through and just take, I had to take some time away. So now I'm back. And today I want to talk to you all about love, happiness, and purpose. <clears throat> happiness, first of all, let me start with happiness because I ran into, uh, I got a new job. Yay. I'm actually a full-time teacher. I've never been a full-time teacher before. Well, I take that back. I, I was a, a GA a TA in graduate school, but now I, I feel so official. I'm actually teaching um, career preparation, working with quote unquote at risk youth ages 16 to 24. And oh my gosh, I know this is a part of my calling, uh, something that God has called me to do. The course is actually uh, career preparation, but I um, basically have the opportunity to help the students to do a lot of personal and social development, which that's that's what I do. You know, that's my expertise. And so I am loving it. I get to share myself, my life and my books with them. And um, I just can't believe. And so what I really want to say was that with purpose, sometimes love, purpose, happiness, all of that can come wrapped in unlikely packages. Have you ever just prayed and prayed? And, and sometimes what you're praying for does not manifest until years later. And I just kind of feel like, you know, I, I thank God. I give glory to God. I give glory to Jesus every day because I'm like, wow, you know, I've been praying and I've been doing vision boards, you know, for the past five and six years. And I'm like, I, you know what? I, I think I'm happy. I mean, I'm content right now. You know, I don't, I don't have the the millions yet putting that in the universe. I've been putting that out there for some years, but I just, I feel like I'm on the cusp of of all my dreams and, and things that are really great. And so stay encouraged with your vision and keep doing your vision boards and, and your affirmations, because I mean, it, it's like one day you'll just look up and everything you've been praying for, it'll just, it'll just be right in front of your face. And you'll be, you'll, you'll be like, Oh, I can't complain anymore, which we shouldn't be complaining anyway, because God despises complainers, but it's like, you're like, wow. Okay. I'm, I shouldn't complain because I really am blessed. I may not be where I really want to be, but I'm blessed. And I might not have all these millions of dollars, but I'm blessed. You know, if even if it's just praying about relationships with family and um, significant others and all of that. But anyway, so I, I want to share, you know, my, my personal life and my testimonies with you all just because, like I said, I've been away and I'm back and, and this is what's going on. And, uh, you know, I'm just I'm just passing through. And that's the same thing with you in your life. I mean, you you may be in your career, in your job and you feel like that's exactly where you want to be. And that's OK. Um, I, I'm true. I truly am an entrepreneur. And it's like God continues to show me that every day. And maybe it's like that for you in your life. But but don't give up where you are. You know, you you may not be able to go full time self-employed just yet. And I haven't been able to do that just yet. But keep working it, keep working that thing and and just um, let, let God just take control of everything and do your part as well. And so anyway, happiness. So I ran into um, my one of my coworkers from my last job and she was like, you you really look happy. And I was like, really? You know, and that just I started dwelling on that. Like, I guess I am kind of happy. Um. It's a good thing. Like, do you ever have problems accepting that, you know, you're you're at a better place in your life? Um, and so I just had to meditate on that. Like, I, I am I am happy. This was just yesterday. <sighs> so that's where I am. Um, so I just I don't know. I felt the need to share that. Like, I didn't realize that I was happy. <laughs> and, you know, a lot of times walking and living in your purpose, it'll do that to you. And um something I want to say about love is that how I said that, you know, sometimes it can come in, in unlikely packages and it can be right in front of your face. You know, it could be like, you may have this list of characteristics of a person that you're looking for, um, inner and outer. 
And again, it can just be somebody that's just right in front of your face. And <clears throat> even if this person's already in your life, you know, you all may have been through some things and you were just like, this relationship is never going to work. You know, it's a done deal. That person hurt you. You hurt them. But you know how that one cliche about like, if it's real love, it'll come back around. I'm starting to like strongly believe that, you know, even in my personal life. So I guess that's really all I wanted to share today. Um, love, happiness and purpose. That's where I am right now in my life. And I'm just thanking God for that. I hope and pray that, you know, um, where you are right now in your life, that you're not going to give up. You're not going to give up on your goals and your dreams for love, happiness and purpose. And just remember, it's the little things that matter. It's the little things that matter each day. And even if with purpose, if it's just the fact that you, God has purposed you to take care of your children or your elders, your family, that's it right there. Just be happy and content with that thing. And so that's all I have for you today. I love you guys and I miss you guys. And I hope to make some more videos really soon with a lot more insight um, that I've gained since I've been kind of away. That's it. Love yourself. Love your life. And I and I know I've been kind of out the loop even with um, people. You, you all have been contacting me in regards to my book. And it's been a little rough right now because I had a car accident. I'm sorry. You know, it's like the devil testing my money. You know what I mean? And so once I get back rolling, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm out there. So if you, you still want the book, check it out. Uh, RachelRivers.com. And I think that's all I have for you. Love you. See y'all soon. Bye.